Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we are going to take up one very interesting and challenging Diophantine equations. Equations are x plus y plus z plus 2 equal to xyz and xy plus yz plus zx equal to 12. xyz are positive integers. So I will begin this video by writing equation numbers first, 1 and 2. Now I will use am gm inequality. So I will begin with equation number 2. Let's find out the am of three numbers x, y, y, z and z, x. So it will become x, y plus y, z plus z, x. Average of this, so divided by 3. am should be greater than or equal to gm. So I will write cube root of x, y times y, z times z, x. So it is nothing but cube root of x square, y square, z square or we can write it as cube root of x, y, z whole square using exponent property a power b whole power c is same as a power c whole power b. Now let us use one substitution. I will write let cube root of x times y times z equal to suppose a it is. So what I will write to our inequality? So here we can write xy plus yz plus zx equal to 12 as per equation 2. So I will write inequality as 12 over 3. It should be greater than or equal to this is what a square. So because of this is a a square. So I will write 4 greater than or equal to a square or a square minus 4 should be less than or equal to 0. This is outcome of amgm inequality in equation number 2. Let's simplify this inequality first. a square minus 4 is less than or equal to 0. I can apply the difference of two squares formula as it is a square minus two square. So we know that formula is a minus b times a plus b. This product should be negative. How it will be? I will draw one number line. I will mark the two roots or two solutions minus two and two. Then I will write our both the brackets. So I will write here a minus 2, I will write here a plus 2 and we will find out the product where it is negative. So once a is greater than 2, a minus 2 will be positive. But before that it would be negative throughout. Similarly, after a equal to minus 2, a plus 2 bracket will be, this bracket will be positive. But before that it would be negative. So this product is positive here, which is not required. In this interval, this product is negative, which is required. In this interval, it, this product is positive, which is not required as it is asking for negative. So what I will write here, our conclusion becomes A should lie in the interval minus 2 to 2. This is conclusion number 1. Now I will consider our first equation, the other one. So that equation was x plus y plus z, this one, plus 2 equal to x, y, z. So if cube root of x, y, z equal to a, then consider cubing both sides, x, y, z will become a cube. So I can write this side equal to a cube. So from here I can write x plus y plus z value will be a cube minus 2. So I will directly use this result once I will apply amgm inequality to this equation. So let me consider x plus y plus z plus 2 equal to x, y, z equation. Now I will apply amgm. So I can write x plus y plus z. The arithmetic mean of three numbers which are positive integers divided by 3. Am should be greater than or equal to 
इट्स जीएम क्यूब रूट ऑफ एक्स वाई जेड नाउ एज पर अवर कंसिडरेशन दिस इज ए नाउ एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड क्यूब वी हैव जस्ट कैलकुलेटेड इट इज प्लस एक्स प्लस वाई प्लस जेड इक्वल टू ए क्यूब माइनस टू सो आई विल राइट हेयर इन द न्यूमरेटर ए क्यूब माइनस टू बाई थ्री ओके नाउ मल्टीप्लाई दिस इन इक्वालिटी बाई थ्री ए क्यू माइनस टू इट शुड बी ग्रेटर देन थ्री ए टेक ऑल द टर्म टू एल एच एस ए क्यू माइनस थ्री ए माइनस टू दिस शुड बी ग्रेटर देन जीरो नाउ सिंथेटिक डिविजन मैथड आई एम गोइंग टू अप्लाई सो आई कैन फाइंड आउट एलिजिबल फैक्टर्स ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशियंट आई विल राइट प्लस माइनस वन प्लस माइनस टू सो आई कैन पुट ए इक्वल टू वन it won't satisfy 1 minus 3 minus 2 no it is not so i will write it is not accepted suppose i am putting a equal to 2 so 2 cube will be 8 minus 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2 yes it is true so conclusion is a equal to 2 is our base solution for this cubic inequality i am actually factoring our lhs so a equal to 2 is clear now i will use sdm Let us use a cube minus three a minus two a equal to two is one solution. I will write all the coefficient of this cubic equation first. So coefficient of a cube I will write one. A square coefficient is zero. A coefficient is minus three. Constant term or coefficient is minus two. One line over there I will write one. Then this is our base solution. I will multiply two times one, two, two, two times two, four, one, two times one, two, zero. So here we are having the remaining two factors. So I can write it is a square plus two a plus one. So factorization is done. Left hand side, if a equal to two is our solution of this equation, that means a minus two is factor. So I can write this inequality as a minus two times, and this is a plus one whole square. So I can write a plus one whole square should be greater than or equal to zero. Now you can see a plus one whole square is always positive, as it is whole square. So outcome is result of this inequality is. A minus two should be greater than zero, or A should be greater than or equal to two. Remember, our first inequality was the first result was A should be less than or equal to minus two, and it should be less than or equal to two. Means A should lie in the interval of minus two to two. So what we will accept solution from these two inequalities? The resultant is. A should be equal to only two, then this will satisfy both the inequality. So what is A? A was our consideration. Let me write here cube root of x y z. This was equal to A. It is equal to two. So I will cube this equation. So I can write x y z is equal to two cube. Or eight. Now point is very clear. Once x y z is equal to eight, see this equation. This equation will give us x plus y plus z plus two equal to eight. So x plus y plus z equal to six. Sum of roots six. Product of roots eight. Sum of roots two at a time twelve. Don't you think we should consider one cubic equation whose roots are x, y, z? So let us frame. I will pick variable t, t square minus sum of roots, single time. So I will write six t square. Then I will write plus sign. Sum of roots taken two at a time. So I will write twelve t. And then with minus sign, product of roots. so it is 
equal to 0. This is cubic equation. From this solution, I will get our answer. And if you remember, this is one expansion of the formula. It is t minus 2 whole cube. This is a cube. This is b cube. This is 3a square with negative sign. 3a b square. 3a square b. So respectively terms are written. If we can directly write, then it is okay. Otherwise, straight away we can go for rational root theorem. We can write here plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 4, plus minus 8. Leading coefficient is 1. So I can see t equal to 2 is solution of this equation. As I will put t equal to 2, so 8 minus 2 square is 4, 24, plus 24 minus 8. So this is becoming 0. So that means t equal to 2 is base solution for this cubic equation. Let us write all the coefficient of cubic equation. So 1, I will write minus 6, 12, minus 8. Put one line over there. 1 would be as it is. 2, minus 4, then minus 8, 4, 8, 0. See this is, I will write in terms of t t square minus 4t plus 4. So this is a one perfect square. It is perfect square of t minus 2 whole square. So task is done. t is nothing but the factors of this cubic equation and factors are x, y and z. So factors of this cubic equation is x, y and z. So conclusion is x equal to 2 y equal to 2, z equal to 2, as t equal to 2. Conclusion is simple, t equal to x equal to y equal to z, because values are same equal to 2. So our final answer becomes x comma y comma z equal to 2 comma 2 comma 2, the only solution possible. I hope this video will be meaningful to you friends. Bye bye till next video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Good luck and take care of yourself.